Hi, I'm Alex Lukowitz. I'm the COO and founder of BlackWolfNation.com and also the founder of 123 Fulfillment. Our specialty is kidding. Why? It's something that 3PLs generally struggle with. So as a brand, it's something that we struggle to find. And as a 3PL, it was a huge gap in the market that we could exploit and give that same service to a ton of other e-commerce brands that want those more complex kidding type of projects. I'm very excited because today marks the day that for the first time ever, within Ship Hero, we can handle all of these types of special projects. Pre-assembly for FBA, barcoding, pre-kitting for Shopify orders. Whatever the special project is that was normally handled by paper and email communications, we now finally have a complete end-to-end -end solution to handle all aspects of special projects within the software. Work Orders. Work Orders is a new module within Ship Hero where you can create assembly SKUs, schedule the project, do all the inventory decrementations, the staging, and the billing if you're a 3PL. I cannot tell you how many times in the past we've either lost track of a project and just forgot to do it, didn't deduct inventory and it caused inventory issues later down the road, or just simply forgot to bill it. Now, not only will it make existing projects easier, but it will make it so much easier that you can actually push this service for your current clients to drive business up. So how does this live in Ship Hero? Let's talk through a common use case. I have a 3PL client that ships into FBA, but the inventory, the way it comes from their factory, is not compliant with FBA. Or let's say, even better case, a kit of multiple products that we're gonna pre-assemble. There is now a new feature to designate that SKU as an assembly SKU used in work orders, and you can add the components that make up that SKU. Now this is different from kit components. So if an order comes in for the finished good, if you added kit components, it would be ready to ship and would trigger your pickers to go pick that order. But I don't want to pick it, I want to pre-assemble it. So being assembly components, they live there to save that data, but it will not trigger that order to be picked. What it does do is when you go into the new work orders module, you can select that product to add to a work order. You can pick which warehouse, if you have multiple warehouses, assembly instructions, and packout details. And really excitingly, to get more off of email, you can upload attachments, whether that's a video showing how it should be assembled, a PDF, a Word document outlining more detailed instructions, that's all part of the create your work order flow. So whether it's the 3PL or the client, you want to make sure that you're completely aligned with the project before we go ahead and put labor and use materials to kit the project. Now, what if the project is really big? A thousand units or 10,000 units, and you can't do that in one day. Work orders allows you, as you're finished, to move whatever quantity is ready from staging to a receiving location. So that means to receive the product, you do not need to create a PO, you do not need to create a manual order or do manual adjustments. As you finish kits, let's say I have a kit with component A and component B that's gonna make C. If I finish 10 units of uh, SKU C, it will automatically deduct from staging component A and B. That's a game changer for real life warehouse work where we're constantly wanting to do projects that might roll over day to day. Work Orders has the ability to bill either by item, by hour, or by any sort of unit, and you can add multiple charges per work order. So master cases, labor hours, a flat fee per unit if you've pre-negotiated the price. I'm sure other people other than me have had this problem, but when manual adjustments have been done in the past for this type of work, if there's ever a discrepancy down the road and you're investigating why, you don't necessarily know why something happened. Now with work orders, every inventory adjustment can be tied back to that work order so that it makes inventory accuracy and auditing much easier. The reality is that assembly, many kinds, but it's still just the first use case of a bigger problem that we are fixing within the warehouse. And that is, how do you handle any special request that is not just straightforward pick and pack? So I really am excited 
that this is solving a major pain point, but it's really the platform to build off of for how do you do any special request in a warehouse without having to rely on email and manual communications. I really hope you're as excited as I am about the launch of work orders. It is gonna be a game changer for us, and I hope it's a game changer for you. Let's get back to work.